Vomiting is a natural and protective action that happens to us and most animals and helps get rid of possible dangerous problems in the stomach like food poisoning, bacterial and fungal infections. We use our senses of smell and taste to identify spoiled food so that we don't eat them and suffer the consequences. But sometimes, we may get it wrong and that's when vomiting comes in handy, as it gets rid of the infected food that we ended up eating not knowing that it's bad for us. So basically, vomiting is good for us as a defense mechanism, but horses don't vomit, which is a blessing and a curse for them. Let me explain. But first, why is it almost impossible for horses to vomit? Well, there are three reasons. Horses have a strong lower esophageal sphincter, LES in short. What is this LES you may wonder? It is a valve that is located at the end of the esophagus, the tube that food passes through to reach the stomach. It connects the esophagus and the stomach and gives food the final push to reach the stomach. Think of it as the door that food has to pass through to reach the stomach. We all have the LES, but the ones horses have is so much stronger than ours. For someone to vomit, food has to pass through the LES, the esophagus and mouth. This happens when pressure or gas inside the stomach caused by infected food forces the LES to open. It's easy for that to happen for us, but for horses, it's near impossible because their LES refuses to be bullied by the pressure and will stay closed not allowing any food to pass back through it. So theirs is a one-way valve, only allowing food in and not out. Also, the location of a horse's esophagus and how it connects to the stomach is much lower than in other animals. This puts their LES in an angle that makes it tighten and press more strongly when there is pressure in the stomach caused by infected and bad food. The third reason is because of the way horses' bodies have evolved. They basically don't have a gag reflex. How, you may wonder. Well, when we vomit, our stomachs have to shrink in size to allow food to come out from it, with the help of abdominal muscles, the muscles that surround the stomach. But the lucky horses have their abdominal muscles far from the stomach, in their ribcage. This makes it impossible for their stomachs to shrink in size, which makes it impossible for them to have a gag reflex, so they can't vomit. But is this good or bad for horses? What happens when a horse eats some bad food and pressure inside the stomach is too much? Well, in most cases, they may have their first and last vomit, but not through the mouth. When the pressure builds so much and the LES stays closed, not allowing food out, the result is that the horse's stomach may rupture, immediately sending it to horse heaven. So horse owners are very picky and careful with the quality of food they give their horses. Horses are also very picky and careful eaters themselves, even the wild ones, as they use their noses to make sure they don't eat any infected food that may be fatal for them. Horse owners also make sure not to overfeed their horse to avoid bloating, and it is extremely important to keep them active to remove any excess stomach filling and keep it healthy. Horses can vomit through their mouth though, but as a result of choking or a blocked esophagus, only when food has not passed the LES. Sometimes it comes out through the nose, just like us. But how did they get like this? It is theorized that their LES had to evolve to be strong due to their need to be always on the run from predators in the wild, so that they don't vomit while running. Their intestines usually move back and forth while running at speed, which may lead to a puke, so their LES has had to adapt. This is the reason they can run as fast as they do, more than 48 km per hour. The fastest gallop has been recorded at 70 km per hour. Other animals that can't vomit are rats, mice, rabbits, squirrels, and guinea pigs. Also, did you know that horses can sleep standing up? Well, now you do. Thanks for watching this episode of Storytime. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a comment telling me what you thought and while you're at it, you can also hit the like button if you like the video and subscribe for more fun and interesting videos and stories like this one. Cheers.